Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me today once again in Transport Fever 2 overlooking a rather fabulous recent uh, addition to our network infrastructure, a station at Clevedon and Tickenham, which appears to be doing quite well. There's quite a few peeps hanging around here, coming here to get travel into the heart of Bristol, to the station at Long Ashton and indeed beyond. Yes, it's been running for less than a year, so I didn't expect it to make a lot of money immediately. But a 1.6 million loss is a little bit more than I was hoping for. Yeah, it'll get it'll get better. I'm sure it will start making money. Absolutely it will. And so what are we going to do today? Looking around the map as I often do, really, as is my want, I noticed that there were a couple of towns which still don't have any real network connections. They sort of have some routes, but they're a little bit sort of long-winded and or slow. Now, this isn't really one of them, because Tickenham certainly does now have a route into Bristol through this uh, fabulous new station. And Nailsey and indeed Backwell have a station here which services both an express and a all stations local stopping service. But I thought it'd be nice to improve... Ooh, end of year. Oh, we're in new 2006. Lots of funky new buses, most of which are probably very capacious and fast and therefore expensive. So I might, well, we'll, we'll see. I might use some of those as we go into today's episode, certainly for this first bit anyway. Uh, yeah, so what I wanted to do was I just wanted to make Tickenham more accessible. So I thought what would be nice would be a nice little bus route between Tickenham and Clevedon, well, between Tickenham and Nailsey, obviously connecting into, into Clevedon. Now, we do already have a bus route around Tickenham, uh, which is a rather long-winded affair. Uh, you may recall I had my concerns about it when I set it up in the previous episode, but maybe it's a bit too long to, to work properly, and it might be better if I had two smaller, separate, uh, really local uh, bus services I was going to say train there but that would be wrong so what I want to do if we'll, we'll keep an eye on this one if it doesn't make money I may well uh, change that but what I thought would be handy would be to have another way into the main line services uh, for these people here by having a connection between Tickenham and Nailsey a quick short bus route uh, so we will set that up now as usual I do like to keep my bus routes the south the Nailsey circle um, oh, I thought, though, yes, there's another one there. Nails it along Ashton route. Oh, which is that uh, bus line I was concerned about also, again, in the previous episode. Oh, it seems to be flowing okay now. Well, it's not congested here with all this traffic, which is still a bit too congested for my liking. So, yeah, I like to keep all my bus routes and truck routes sort of away from each other so they don't sort of get stuck behind one or the other. Uh, and likewise here in Tickenham, we've got you. So we're going to create, I think, I think if we connect this new bus route to Windsor Road. Actually, if we, let's do this. Let's put in an extra bit of country road. Uh, it was a smaller one, probably you. Is that you? Yes. Well, you're not publicly owned. Uh, yes, I will make you publicly, privately owned. I will own you. Just in case either town gets into its head that it might turn them into slow country roads. We don't want that. So what we'll do, we'll connect you, actually. That's good. Then I can have it coming into Windsor Road and going around the other way. So it stops on the other side of the road. Now, uh, be nice if it connected here to the station. So... Yeah, that works for me. That way it connects to lots of bus services and the train station. So let's get a bus stop in here. Uh, we'll use a, a proper funky new roadside stop. We'll use you. And I'll put it on both sides of the road. We'll, just dig, well, we'll see how it turns out. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, whether we want it to go to one side or the other. Uh, so let's create ourselves a new line. A uh, new line uh, in a colour I can actually see. Uh, let's say yellow, shall we? So we're going to go from Kings Road to Windsor Road. 
Yes, good. So you're staying away from the other route, so you're not getting to, going to get into each other's way. Uh, okay. I'm... No, because it will get stuck then between behind the bus is stopping at South Street. Can we change you to go to platform two? Now that's better. Good. Uh, <laughs> right, so they, yes, so my yellow line and the light purple line aren't c conflicted here at South Street, but they ha are here at King's Road. This route here, yes, if the, that's the Nailsy Circle, if you actually went up this way, because you don't need to go there, do you? What if we put a little waypoint up here? Uh, which one should we use? Bus on it? We got one with a bus on it. So if I put you there, and then manage the Nailsy Circle line. So after South Street, yep, we're going to go there. Excellent. Right, so you don't get stuck behind anybody. Yes, yep, that's fine. Uh, except I haven't named <laughs> this new line here. So you are going to be, we'll call you Nails E to Tickenham, because that is what you are. Uh, can we find buses? We've got a bus depot there. We've got one there. Why don't we put, yeah, we'll put four on there. We'll take two from each of these bus depots. That's what we will do. And can we use any of those sexy new vehicles we saw pop up at the beginning of the year? Uh, passenger, that will get it sorted by top speed. We don't need them to be hugely fast. There is there is a there is a bit of country road running, but it's not a substantial amount, so it doesn't need to be too fast. Ah, right now I think yes, you're the brand new range of buses, aren't you? We've got a whole set of you. You're 89 grand a year, 22 people at 50 miles an hour. Yeah, that's okay. You only carry 16, and you're 64. Mm. <laughs> you're a lot cheaper, but you're just not... I could use the box standard man, I suppose, couldn't I? But now, I'd like to use something with a with a, a livery, an appropriate livery. Have we got one? Uh, first Barbie in green. Oh, I'm not used to seeing that round here. Well, I'm all apart from badger line buses, I think. Don't, actually, there, there, there are a couple of routes which I think first have coloured green around here. And I think a park and ride is one of them. They're usually this sort of purpley, bluey, pinky colour. Uh, we're not in Worcester. We're not really urban either. Let's try you, shall we? Yeah, okay. We'll buy two of you. And you are the 66692. So if I come to buy them from the other depot. And we're going to place you... On Nailsy to Tickenham. There you go. That's you all done. And we'll do the same thing from here. We'll buy just a couple of those uh, new Plaxtons. Uh, that was you, wasn't it, I think? Probably. <laughs> Two of you. And again, we'll set you on the Nailsy to Tickenham line. It may or may not be a popular, profitable line. Time will tell. Now, you may remember also, when I was creating this station at Clevedon and Tickenham, I was looking at where it might, where the, the track might go, where we might route it, any, if we could route it anywhere else. And I think it was less likely to come out this way to Whirl or Congressbury. Uh, actually, Congressbury doesn't... Oh, it does. Yes, Yatton. Congressbury itself doesn't have a train line. Ooh, could... Mm. No, no, forget it. no, that's not on the plan for today. Yes, yeah, so I think these towns are all reasonably well serviced for, for bus for trains anyway. So more likely to send out an additional route out here to these sort of seven estuary towns of Portishead, Portbury and Pill. And looking at this one before I started this episode, uh, I was thinking Portishead could be quite difficult we have got these fairly busy freight lines here and if we were to connect into Portishead we'd either sort of do it up here 
around the existing freight lines or somewhere down here which is possible I think but I'm not sure because that we couldn't we, we then would then be more difficult to get across to Portbury I think without sort of demolishing huge chunks of the town or indeed going underground so I kind of put Porter's head to one side and I was thinking we could actually put a station in here which would be Portbury but it could be connected up to Portis Head yeah yeah a little bus route now these towns are already connected into the hub of Bristol City uh, through various tram and bus routes so there is connection but as you can see yeah the roads are still jam-packed with commuters uh, so I'd like to do something to alleviate that so a, an extra train service in here might well be handy so, but then I was looking at that, so I was thinking of that, and then looking at this and thinking, this terrain, I mean, it's not helpful anywhere on the map, to be honest. Uh, the terrain is very, very hilly, and here it's just a nightmare. And I'm not sure how we're going to achieve this. We could again demolish huge chunks of Portbury to get through to Pill, or, and this appealed to me, go underground. So that is what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and build a substantial underground line, certainly underground Portbury, and we'll see where we pop out uh, in Pill, as it were, where the pill pops. So let's crack on and get done with that, shall we? Uh, first off, I think we're going to remove all this uh, superfluous roadage. I, mean, I don't know what the game was thinking when it put these roads in here. I mean, this is just entirely redundant. It goes nowhere apart from connecting up that farm, which isn't used. Uh, we, we might use it at some point in the future. Um, and this is just ludicrous. I don't know. Sometimes I do wonder what the game is thinking. Uh, we'll, we'll put that back so those houses don't feel too abandoned. And that'll be Town Road, and you're probably you. Yes, you are, you're that sort of road. So if we just uh, connect you to there. Oh, you see, look at that. Even that has terrain and slope issues. Okay, so that is that. Let's see, we'll get rid of this road here as well, because we're going to pop out, hopefully, somewhere above ground around here. I think. Possibly. <laughs> Unless we go underground there as well. Right, let's crack on. Let's get this uh, track built, I think, to start with. It won't be electric, for certainly for the moment. Can we get you going underground? Can I go down? Uh, two, three. No. We need, I want you to be in a tunnel fairly quickly. Uh, if I go down four... Still no? Really? What if I go down? Down a bit more? Okay, if I go down a bit more, you do, but uh, I don't, I'm not sure I want to go down quite that much. Okay, let's start this again. A little bit further down. Aha! Right! You're happy being a tunnel. Unless I make you... Ooh. No, 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 we're good. We've got a tunnel. Uh, colliding with what? what? Why Why do you want to build a crossing? No, do not build a crossing there. Oh, I've cancelled it. Bother. Right, let's see if we can do that again. What if we go here, say? Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Can we get you... Oh, hang on, the game's froze. Let's hope it comes back. Oh, right, I've got you back. Good. Okay, so we're going there. Do I have to go down? Uh... Yeah, I'm not quite sure where it thinks it's surfacing. This is just very strange. Okay, down a little bit. 
I don't want to keep on going down though. That that's going to be a problem when we actually come to place our station. Uh, okay, so you looking a little bit flattish there? Well, you're probably not. Okay, let's finish this. Where's the line gone? There you are. What if I take you? Don't. It keeps wanting to connect to things, to snap to streets and the like. What if I take you down? If you go underground to there, say. Or sorry, on a, on a downward traje trajectory to there. Okay, can I then connect and not go down anymore? And in fact, possibly start coming back up again. Okay. Oh, I can. Quite dramatically. That, that is a steep... That is quite a steep incline, but we're still, <laughs> still miles underground. All right, let's take you to there and see what that does. Okay, so we've got you there. Are you going to come anywhere? Oh, you are coming out there. Is that somewhere I can place a station? Okay, let's... If I don't bring you up quite so steeply... Can we? Aha! That is quite an underground length. But could it work? I think it might. Where, where are you? I don't know. I don't quite know what it's colliding with. Let's cancel that. Let's. I'm not sure if I need this curve here. Oh, can I? Can I get rid of you? Can I get a view which allows me to highlight that bit of track? I don't want to delete any buildings if I don't have to. Am I gonna have to? Got rid of you. And oh, come on! <laughs> we really could do. Oh, got it could do with a proper underground building mode. That would be so awesome. Okay, so I want to connect. Oh, where's that track gone? I've lost the track. <laughs> there's, there's the track. Okay. So if we come out again, we're climbing quite aggressively here still. That's okay. It's a very long way underground. I think if we can place a station here, that looks like a good place for a station to, to be built without disrupting too much of the existing city. So let's aim for there. Can we... Right, we're above... We're sort of above ground. Not quite sure how. Where's the tunnel entrance? <laughs> oh, uh, where... where? I, I'm not quite sure where the tunnel entrance is. That just looks very odd. That looks very odd indeed. Uh, so what inclination do we have? Uh, okay, if we... Okay, we're, build, we're gonna remove six buildings apparently by doing this. Okay, oh, there's another tunnel entrance there. Oh, this is quite good. So it appears briefly in the middle of town goes back underground and I don't think we're too far away from ground level we might be able to build a station there okay that's good I think let's take that what have we got looks weird but I'm gonna live with it okay we have track can we build station now uh, oh I keep forgetting I keep wanting to put on this uh, modern tunnel lining when I'm drawing these things where I've got lots of tunnels and I haven't so it's going to be the old-fashioned vanilla game uh, tunnel walls but never mind never mind uh, it's too late to, uh, I could rebuild them but I'm not going to 
Uh, what sort of... Uh, we'll use a, a modern station. Um, okay, where's my track? Oh, is my track underground still out here? Oh, it is. C can we get it to... Wait for the autosave to finish, then I'll see if I can get it... Oh, there you are, above ground. Excellent. Oh, it's very steep, isn't it? Can we make it a little less steep? That's a little less steep. Now, this is going to be a through station. Yeah, so we're not going to need to put any switches or anything like that in here. So, we could have it doing a little curvy thing. I think. Let's try that. Put the station down. It's going to be high speed, no catenary. Oh, we'll put two tracks and so say it's going to be going to and from pill. Well, I can put you in there, but you collide with the road. Actually, let's make that a bit shorter. Because we've still got uh, a bit of a curve to put in here. So we'll make this very short indeed, coming out of the tunnel. That's good, I think. Put you... Can I put you on there? Hmm. Can I send you downwards? Nope, that road's got to go. Sorry, guys. I will leave. I will leave the buildings there. See what happens to them. Right, we can. We can put you there. Not sure it's going to help passengers get there from that road. We'll need a separate entrance road, I think, to the station. Uh, 160, probably more than enough, actually. If I make it 120, so I think, I'm not sure this is, I don't think this is going to be a terribly busy route. So we'll probably just have small trains on here. Now, can I? get you out of here at some sort of speed. Ooh, straight into a tunnel again. No, we don't want you. Sorry, compulsory purchase. So if I put you... That is a bit slow, but I imagine these trains aren't going to be doing much more than 75 or so anyway. Ooh, I could have you running alongside here, of course. Uh, in some sense, uh, if I draw you along there, say, can I then get you like so? Oh, that's not too bad at all, actually. Yeah, I'm okay with that speed. All right, so we've got you there, and we're going to want a station here in Pill, which I think is going to need to be low. Uh, 120, yeah, that's all the same. Can I send you down? But I've no idea where the track is. That's the problem we've got. <laughs> oh. Are you going... Are you not going to come up at all? Oh, that's... That's outrageous. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that bit of track. And that bit of track. Can I get you... And that bit? Can I get you coming up? At all? I can. Okay. You create chaos on these roads. But to be honest, we're going to have to live with that. Uh, I can always redraw the roads. Yeah, we'll get rid of you. Hmm. Actually, it really messes with the rail as well, doesn't it? Okay. Bye-bye. That's better. At least the track is uniform pretty much in the way it hugs the ground. Let's put you there. And we're going to put our little uh, one-track station. Um, we 
might go on somewhere else. But we, well, we'll just put this in for the time being. I shall turn it round. Like so. Um, but I will put a, another platform on. Oh, we'll put two tracks in there regardless. So I want to give access from this side as well. And if we're going to have a platform here, we might as well have tracks. Uh, platforms, uh, passenger. There you are. There you go. Yep, that's good. Passenger building. Have we got a little one of these? You're a medium one, which is you. We got a small one with street access. That's fine. I think the safest way place to connect it is here, to be honest, isn't it? Yes. Rather than trying to navigate that huge slope up there to that road. That's cool. Let's get some track in here then. We're going to have you going out there. Are you? Are you actually lined up with that? Are you snapping to that? I'm not sure you are. I'm not at all convinced that that looks a bit ropey to me. It is very ropey. And, uh, why did it do that? Why? Absolutely not. There's no call for that. Okay, can I flatten this at all? Uh, flatten. Uh, yeah, uh, fairly strong. I'll make the brush a bit smaller. Is that doing what I want it to do? Possibly. Makes it look ugly, but apart from that, let's see. You still don't really like it, do you? Okay. I think you're looking more on the set on the level. I'm still not convinced, but we're going to go with it anyway. There you go. And uh, we'll send you to there. Yeah, I, guess, I suppose having these other buildings and these roads here do make it more difficult for the terrain to deform, as it were, or conform to uh, whatever it is I'm putting down. Oh, that does look weird. Okay, we're going to need uh, to get you across there okay that will do can I do one in the other direction I'm not sure I, I can't there's too much slope I will leave that as is I think for the time being that will be yeah so the, the main building will be the main platform here All right can we get you to follow this huge length of tunnel under this city. <laughs> oh, what idiot put the tracks on the wrong side. Ah. Oh. Okay, right. Well, I'll accept you and we'll move the station, I suppose. Oh, bother. Right. Uh, so, can we? Put our station like so. Again, two tracks. Whoops, you nearly met it. There you go. Uh, all right, I think. And will the track join up here? Yeah, you're okay. That's good. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of that and that. And we'll just see if we can get this to curve into there it does looks like pretty much the same sort of speed we had before that's good and you can go there okay now we're going to need trains to 
get in onto this route, and they're going to do that by connecting from Clevedon and Tickenham Station here. Probably going round this oil well. That road, it may not get in the way, but it annoys me. So we're going to get rid of it. The train station is there servicing that well anyway, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Let's pull this up a bit. Shall I turn the parallel tracks on? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get you coming up here. Okay, and see if we can join up with the line to Long Ashton. Actually, if I do it like this way round and connect in. It really doesn't like doing it like that, does it? No, 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 it won't. Okay, so I'll do it from here. You look reasonable, I think. We're going up a lot, don't need that. Thank you very much. And we'll want you to come down again to there. Good. Okay, is that still level? That's still level. Result. Put you in. That's good. We'll turn the parallel tracks off. We're not going to need that here. And we'll connect the other one here from that switch point. Along there. That looks good. And we'll draw you all the way out there. So, but once again, I forgot to select the tunnel wall that I prefer. Hey ho. There we are then. We have a new local service from Clevedon and Tickenham through to Portis, Portbury, not Portishead, to Portbury and Hill. All right, okay. How are we going to connect these stations up to the road so people can actually use them? Very good question. Let's try that. Can we do this for here? Yeah, you look like a good enough road. Okay. I'm going to need you to go down a lot. No, that's not going to work. Okay, what if... Can I... No, everything, it's trying to connect to that road, isn't it? If I get rid of that building, would that help? Probably not, but, you know. Okay, and... Where are you? Ooh, you are in more or less the right area. Got you in the wrong place. Aha! Ah, you're not in the wrong place. That's good. Are you sort of level with the platform? It looks like I might have got that sort of right. Okay, if we go that shift down a one touch more. There you go. Okay, we'll accept that just to get something working. Right, let me play with this for a bit and see if I can actually get this to work. Okay, as you can see, I have connected it kind of to, to the existing road network. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get it out. I want, for some, for some reason, this is just me being awkward I want to aha I can get it out of there underneath that main road which is what I wanted to do uh, but it does need it does need to go down to achieve that the other thing I discovered when I was messing around with this is that we are very close to the water level here so smoothing off around this station because it is so low uh, did show through water 
uh, which just makes the whole thing look very, very unsightly indeed. And we come back up to ground level, and I can connect to you by means of an appalling <laughs> slope. So what I could do, I suppose... Okay, so if we extend that out up there, like so, and then around here, like so, yeah, and then delete that bit, and that bit, put you back down across to there, and you can come up to there. Still not a terribly clever... Ooh, that actually looks a bit better, I think. It's still a steep incline, but it does kind of work. That's okay. Now, do we want to connect you to the other side of here? We, mm, we'll see. We see. We might do that. Okay, <laughs> that's, one, <laughs> that's one station. What about this one? Can I connect you here? And you are definitely going to need to go down, aren't you? We'll start that there. Can I build a little bit? No, too close. That will do. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you pass for the time being. No, not like that. Nor like that. Will that work? That's quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. A nice curvy approach to the station. And off here to this side of town. I'd like to make it a fairly straight on approach to that road. Like so. Okay, we'll try that. And there. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. And on this side. Is there any way of getting from there to there? I think the answer is going to be no, isn't it? So close, but so unachievable. All right, let's destroy that building. That one and that one. Aha! There you are. Aha! Ooh, it got... It's a close call. Gotcha. Okay, right, we'll put the bus route, I think, on that side. But at least we are now connected to the town. Oh, and actually covering a fair chunk of it to start with. What about uh, Portbury? Well, you've got some. Okay, it's not great, but it is a start. Well, let's get a train line set up at last. Again, I'll use a colour that we can actually see on the map. Uh, some sort of red might work here, I think. So we're going from... Uh, Ch 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 I keep kind of calling it Chippenham, but it's, sorry, it's Clevedon and Tickenham. So from there, we are then going to cut across to Portbury Transfer. We'll change that. Uh, and then off to Pill. Back to Portbury. And then returning once again to Clevedon and Tickenham. I think I'll, I'll kind of swap those around, actually. So I want you on platform one. But I will give you the option of going to two, if need be. That's good. And you, I'm going to put you on platform two. That's better, uh, with an option of one, if you need to. All right, that is good. So we've got that. How are we going to get trains on that? This again is our problem. And I've decided, because it's 
bit like hard work getting trains all the way down from here from Redcliffe down here to Clevedon uh, I mean if we actually <laughs> this looks so tempting actually if we connect if we completed this and connected Pill here to Long Ashton that's uh, Long Ashton up there then we could actually make use of okay J just because I'm being silly is it feasible would it actually work getting track up here to Long Ashton could I actually get you oh, I could I could connect you into Long Ashton that looks like something I might what I might want to do but we're not going to do it in oh, oh, I'm so tempted to do that now I've got the money I've got over one billion I've nearly got one and a half billion in the bank I could do this I could so do this trick is getting them on the right <laughs> Getting them on the right platform and getting them on the right track. We've got all sorts of weird switches going on here. Okay, we're not going to do that. So, as I said, rather than getting trains coming all the way from Redcliffe, round the houses, all the houses pretty much, I've conceded defeat and I'm going to build a little depot. Right, we've got a sort of industrialised area here uh, near this station, so I'm just going to build a small little train depot. Have we got a little one? tiny train depot yeah you'll do Where, where's your out I don't really need three tracks to be honest um, tracks pa oh passing tracks okay uh, are you oh you're high speed okay oh passing track round the outside round the outside yeah ooh that's an interesting idea, but I'm not going to put any on. No. And this will be coloured uh, blue. Yeah. Because that building's blue and this kind of fits. So we'll put you here fairly close to the station. Line you up so you're sort of in sync with that. And we'll pretend that little house there is the depot master's residence. Put you there got two tracks I don't really need two tracks but there you go mm. okay oh there is a this this oh yeah that uh, switch is there isn't it okay are you gonna let me build anywhere around here do we know again this weird effects from the terrain modification is just so odd Okay, we'll go there then. Uh, delete that bit of track. Yeah, I think that's all right. <laughs> he said, hopefully, more in hope than expectation. And you can come off to to there. Okay. Well, that's acceptable, I think. Rightio! So we have our new route, we have our new line. Did I give it a name? No, I didn't. For the time being, at least Clevedon to Pill, because that's where it's going. So we're going to put some trains on there. Again, I don't think it's going to be terribly busy. Uh, we'll go for a fairly small multiple unit, I think. Let me sort them by speed. Okay, 70, could do with being fast. Again, it's a bit like the Clevedon to Long Ashton route. It's a little bit long-ish. 30 people? 89's a nice speed. You carry 50. That's actually quite a nice number. Uh, faster than that, you are proper expressive. Yeah, you're proper intercity type trains. Okay, let's try 89. You're going to... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you're a lot more expensive than the 143 that we've got currently running on the uh, Ash Long route to Long Ashton. Uh, 
We'll take you anyway. One of you for the moment. We'll buy you. And I'll put you on a Clevedon pill. And set you running. Awesome. And I'll just set up uh, a couple of bus routes, which will hopefully connect people more directly to these stations. Oh, it's here already. There's our lovely new train. Carrying nobody of 50. But there are people already waiting here in Pill. How many are going to get on? How many? Tell me. Anybody? Oh, you're a bit slow loading, aren't you? Two whole people. It's a start. Now, we did already have a taxi service running. Is that one of you? Yep. In Pill. Uh, because buses just weren't making any money whatsoever. In fact, these aren't either. Oh, look, they made money very, very briefly once. But I think the taxes are slightly more cost effective. So I've added in a new stop to the train station there. And in Portbury, I've put in a new station loop which goes around the town entirely. Um, I think that stop and north, that, those two stops should be close enough to the Portbury 100 here which is the main link between those three seven estuary towns. Uh, if I might put in a link from there to the station. We'll see how that works out. We'll see how that works. Uh, we've still got nobody waiting here. Really? Somebody? And anybody waiting here at the other end? No. Awesome. So I won't bother putting a second train on there just yet. But what I will do is thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Trust More Fever 2. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. You know, just click on the old thumbs up button. Hi, Freight Train. Um, but even better, if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game or things I have messed up, I'm sure there are plenty of those. Uh, or if you just want to say anything at all you feel like saying about the game, then please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Could do with some signals on this line, actually. I'll put them in uh, in a moment. Yeah, it'd be great to hear from you. And, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.